but welcome back to today's video. In today's video, I actually really wonder if you can figure out what this eye look is. Actually, you know what? It's in the title. What am I all about? So, I really wanted to do the emoji that I have put in the title. Um, I can't remember what it's called. It's that Turkish symbol, I think it is. If I am completely wrong, feel free to just, you know, correct me in the comments below. But I did read something very quickly. Um, I'm not sure if it is called Evil Eye or it protects you from the evil eye. Um, because when I was younger, I used to, like, when you go on holiday, that you would always see the jewelry and stuff when you go on holiday. And you would buy it because it gives you good luck. But I think it's actually, it keeps you away from bad luck, from what I read. I don't think it gives you good luck, I think it keeps you away from bad luck. Anyway, you can look that up if you wanna. But I just wanted to do a video on that look, based around that eye. And I did look it up as well to see if anyone else had done this, and I couldn't find it, so I thought, I'm gonna do it. But if you do know someone that has done this, link it down below. Look, look, tell me who did it, because I'd love to see their look on it. Um, because I actually couldn't find anything. But that was just on Google that I searched it. But, you know, I would have thought that what I searched would have found it anyway. It is very in your face. This is not something that you can just go out and wear. This isn't something that I would probably even wear a night out. Some of you would. I know some of you would. Because some of my clients come in and they're like, yeah, I want to have the brightest look going. And I'm like, where are you going? I'm just going to the club. Okay. So I know some of you will wear it. Um, but for me... This is something that I would wear to a festival if it was going to go with the eye, um, like the outfit that I was wearing. Um, I would wear something this bold to a festival. Let me know if you would down below. Um, so yeah, if you want to see how I created this look, then please keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with, as you can see, I've just left the powder on my skin just to get that sharp, sharp contour. Uh, we'll just leave that on probably for the whole time I do my eyes. So I'm just going to get the picture up of that eye. I'm going to get it as close as possible. The thing is, it is dark blue and then it's white and then it's the light blue. So I think I'm going to do a cut crease, like a double cut crease to get the white in there. Right, with the palettes, at the moment I'm just going to use the Sample Beauty one. This one, this is the Paradigm Shift palette. Um, and I'm gonna go, because I've got quite a few blues in there and it's the blues that I want as well. We've got like the light blue here. Um, and I'm looking at the dark blue first. So this top one in the corner, I'm gonna take as it being a dark blue. Oh, I need to clean my brushes. So I'm gonna go in with that dark blue and I'm going to keep the eyes very circular I'm not going to smoke it out I want to keep it as close as I can to that image that emoji eye thing which is obviously a circle and the darkest colors on the outside which you don't normally get so I'm going to do that dark blue I'm not sure if it'll actually be dark enough but I can always build it up and I'm going to start on the outside corner what you don't want to do is drag it out too far so when you go on the corner do it quite in do it further in so then you've got space to blend it out basically because you don't want to go too far and think oh well i've ruined that circular shape now now i can't do it so i'm just going to build that up on the outside corner go all the way around to the inside corner through the crease Yeah, this is the right blue, you know. I'm just building that up. I'm going to start blending the edges and then build up again, blend the edges again. It's kind of like a layering process until you're happy. That's the thing with eyeshadow and makeup looks. Is no one's right or wrong. There's no right or wrong with makeup. There's no how many times you should do things. You just do it until you're happy and you've achieved the look that you've got in your head that you want. And then I'm going to build up some more. I feel like 
the spotlight one goes more with goes more of the look but I feel like a half cut crease looks better on me I think I'm gonna go with the spotlight I can always build up more later on anyway if it's not enough I feel like that's about right right and then we're literally going straight on to the cut crease so what I'm gonna do is a cut crease a spotlight one in the middle and then I'm not gonna do the whole I'll have to just, I don't know how to explain this. I'm going to create a cut crease and then do another cut crease underneath it so that it leaves a line. So it's basically two cut creases. One will be higher up, one's underneath it in the exact same spot. There we go. So I'm going to use the P. Louise base. This is the rumour one. Number two, I think it is. And I am going to do it as a spotlight. And I am going to do it higher up above my crease so there's space to do the second cut crease underneath it. Just gonna sharpen that up. Right, that is the first bit done. Hey, I need to blend out the edges, so I'm going to blend this outside line, inside line, give that a little pat as well so it's not there's not too much build up or concealer so it will look a bit like this and then we're going to go in with the white, there is a white in this palette so I'm just going to use that I'm going to get that as close as I can against that line without going over it bright white right now anyway there's the white then back into the concealer and I'm gonna do a cut crease underneath that white bit I need to get the shape really close as well Just need to sharpen out now. It's quite hard to see when you look onto the white. Right, I think that's about right. I can't really see. We'll go with that for now. Same thing, blend the edges. And then I'm going to pat on. There's a light blue in here. From there, that light blue. Don't even have to point to the blue then, could even point to the pink. And I'm going to pat that on top of that. Right, so that should be it. And then you need to build up the colours again on the corners to blend it in to the look. So I'm going to do. The dark blue, I feel like I need to do some more darkness to make everything stand out. So I think I might put a dark blue in there as well. But I'll start with the one that we've already been using. Build that up on the inside corner and the outside corner. We're starting to look like it. I think, you know what, it's this, it's this kind of stage where you think, should I carry on? Should I have been doing this? I'm not sure if I should have done this. But now I'm like, mm, this, this could pull together. This could work out. But I think I will do a darker blue. Yeah, I think I just want a bit more darkness, but I'm going to do a bit of the underneath now whilst I'm at it. But I need to think, what am I doing underneath? I want, so what I'm going to do with the underneath, I'm going to take the dark blue. You want to connect them corners. And then I'm going to leave the middle for the lighter blue. And then the light one's going to go in the middle. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Oh, this is 
starting to look like it. That looks mighty fine, but I am going to take a darker blue, like I said. So I'm going to go into the Magic by Juvia's palette. There is a very dark blue called Yejidi. Yeah, I probably said that wrong. Down here, this one. And I'm going to put that on the outside corner, inside corner. Same with the underneath um, first. Hope this is actually dark enough because now I'm thinking, is this going to be dark enough? Uh, is it? It adds a little bit, yeah. And then I'm actually going to put a bit around, around that white, being super careful. Just doing a bit of blending. And then I'm going to blend my outside corner, like this outside edge here, just a bit more. I don't know how the hell that worked out. Don't even ask. I don't know. But I'm now very happy with that. It's, it's actually, it is literally the worst thing when you sit there thinking, I'm filming all of this, I'm spending all this time on my eyes for something that might not work or it doesn't work is the worst thing ever. I'm gonna do the other eye and then I'll be back to do the liner, mascara, lashes, all that shizzle. So, here we are with the eyes completely done. The only thing that I've done which is different is I've just done my mascara, my lashes and both liners, so on top and underneath. The only bit that I don't have with this eye look is that the eye does have the black bit in it as well. But I just think, you know what, I've got the black liner on top and bottom. That'll be fine, I don't want to ruin it, because it was quite hard. And uh, yeah, this is very full on. Probably something you may never wear. Maybe to a festival, like raccoon eyes. It's very boom in your face. Here are my eyes, hello. If you didn't know where my eyes were, now you do. So I'm just gonna do my lips now. So this is Rimmel Cappuccino. I'm just going to do the same colour as last week, last week's uh, video. This is Naturally Transformed by MAC. I always go for like a very neutral colour if I've got a lot going on on the eyes. And then I'll blend that lip line in. And then I'm just going to soften that again. Just with an eyeshadow brush this time. There we go. Not really keen on my hair like this today, but it will do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I swear all my videos are literally 0 to 100. I swear I do the best one because when I, I literally just get up, roll out of bed, put a tracksuit on, come down here, looking like it. And then, yeah, here we are. So. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. If so, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.